Yo yo, my name is Rich Finelli, and in this ninth video in my Handlebars training series, we'll be working with data that isn't as flat. When I say flat data, I'm talking about the object structure in our JSON file. We have a very simple array of objects. What happens when that array of objects gets deeper? In this video, we'll add a little more depth to our JSON data, and then subsequently see how we can update our Handlebars template to work with it. First, let's update our JSON file and add some depth to our house property. Let's change it to an object with three properties, name, seat, and words. We'll turn it into an object. The first property again is gonna be name. The second one will be seat. And the third will be words. That was our first character, John Snow, so now let's update the others. So basically I'm going to use this house and I'm going to say, I'm going to add two more. So we'll do seat as well as words. I can't just do seat and words like that, name, seat, words, that won't work because our context is wrong. Our context is not looking inside of the, of the house object. So I have to do house.name, house.seat, and house.words. So now if I look at that in the browser, there we have it. The house, the seat, and the words. So that's looking pretty good. I can also, so instead of using this dot notation, which is pretty much JavaScript object notation, it also accepts a forward slash. So house slash name will work. And we can see, we can still see the seat. And this kind of reminds me of like folder structure in a way and more on that in a little bit but let's keep them all consistent as using the dot notation but really there, there's another thing we can do we can actually add the with helper so we could say with house and this is a built-in handlebars helper it's called a block helper because it has an opening and a closing tag, just like our if helper, our unless helper, and our each helper, they're all block helpers. Now I can get rid of house dot from all three of these. And if I save that and view it in the browser, it still works. What I could do is I could want, I could be inside of this with helper and then need to access something like the name. So if I would just use the name, and, and when I say the name, I'm referring to not the house name, but I want to refer to Daenerys Targaryen, the, the character's name. What's going to happen here is when I save it, it's actually going to give me the house name. So it's giving me Targaryen. Well, I don't want the house name. I want the character's name. Since I'm inside the with helper, what I need to do is say dot dot slash name. And that's going to take me outside of the with helper up one level. Or you can think of it as instead of being outside of the with helper, it's going to take me outside of the parent object or the parent property, I should say. And then it's going to look for name in this context, which would be the character name. So now if I save that, you can see now it does show me the character name and not the house name. So I think that's when, you know, if you're using the dot dot slash, then then if you were to do, like, if there was another nested object inside of the name object, it kind of makes sense to use the slash notation because this dot dot slash reminds you a lot of, a lot of navigating like a folder structure. So you could use this slash, you can kind of continue with that convention instead of the object notation convention. So let's get rid of that and save it. And the other thing I like to do is with all these, since these are kind of like not every character has a house, a seat, and words. Um, if we go to like Sandor Kaglane, his words are empty because he doesn't have that. So I like to surround each one of these with a if statement. So if name, if seat,
and if words. And what's cool is I don't have to say if house.name, if house.seat, if house.words, because I'm inside of the with statement. We can see that works, and if we go to somebody like Sandor Clegane, we don't see words because he doesn't have anything in his, his object for words. We don't know what his house words are. So I hope that is helpful learning to work with deeper objects. In the next video, we'll create our first custom helper.